Collaboration is um, central to the work that I do. And um, I think that without um, collaboration or the input of other people, the projects that I've done just wouldn't have been possible. Um, something that I always like to say is no man is an island. You know, a lot of, even just the ideas within themselves haven't come from just me. They've come from different sources and other people and, and influences. I think collaboration and kind of that people power and, and, and I suppose influence from other people is really important to my work. When I first started working in the arts and working with galleries, I worked as a gallery assistant and one of the things that I noticed from conversations or behaviours from visitors were that people felt uncomfortable within gallery spaces. Um, they didn't know how to act, they felt as though they had to act a certain way or if they didn't understand the art, it was a quite intimidating for them. I do feel as though when people are in informal environments that they feel more comfortable to express themselves um, and there isn't really a pressure to to act, react to the artwork in um, a certain way. The anti-gallery um, and other work that I do um, allows me to kind of work with artists to exhibit art in informal spaces, you know, places like shopping centres or the streets or foyers, places where people wouldn't expect to engage with art. And I think for me, art brings people together. So since 2016, um, I've been working for New Art Productions, um, which is based in Stavanger in Norway. And so I mainly work um, as part of New Art Festival, which is kind of like their visual arts festival. The festival consists of um, kind of like large scale, new large scale murals, um, which are painted around um, the city of Stavanger. Um, but also there are smaller interventions as well by artists um, that are placed around the city. It's an amazing experience um, you know obviously working internationally um, it's an international festival so the, the team that I work within is very international you have people from obviously from the UK people who are already living in Norway people from the US from the Netherlands from all over the world um, and so it becomes this amazing melting pot of experiences and, and interests you know just all of the things that I've been able to learn the contacts that and connections that I've been able to make you know they've only just added to kind of my own independent work as well and just I suppose my own knowledge and skills. In 2014 um, I had the opportunity to be part of a project in Budapest in Hungary. Um, it was a project that was organised by Erasmus Plus and um, it was a project looking at kind of graffiti and graffiti art, um, street art as well and kind of the impact it had on communities and on people. So a lot of the project was kind of researching and exchanging ideas um, with um, other participants from other countries um, and then looking at how we could put those ideas to life within the city of Budapest. One of the biggest takeaways from the project was just my understanding of the importance of working and interacting with people on an international level and just how enriching that is for us as individuals um, but also as communities. So a project that I worked on um, was a digital project called Postcards from Isolation and that was a project uh, put together by a group of digital designers in which they created interactive postcards and they got other designers from around the world um, to create their own interactive postcards. Part of it was um, symbolising life before the pandemic. The second part of it was like how isolation has kind of changed things for them. And I think this project really showed like a commonality that we were all going, something that we were all going through. It didn't matter where you were in the world, it, you know, this was something that had affected all of us. In 
2017, um, myself um, and some friends started um, She Freak, um, which is a collective of um, black women artists and creatives um, from Nottingham. I mean, we are all of us are British born, pretty much, um, but we have such, um, you know, some of us are f um, first generation. I'm British, so myself, I'm first generation British. Um, we have um, some people in the group who maybe like be first generation Caribbean or second generation um, and people who form parts of the diaspora. We do an African market, which is inspired by the continent of Africa. And so we get vendors who create work or who make goods that are inspired or from the continent. So we've had people who've sold home furnishings, um, food, um, artwork, um, books as well. It's amazing because it brings so many people together, people from lots of different backgrounds where they can kind of learn about African culture um, and take a slice of African culture with them as well. And it's also just a great opportunity for people from the diaspora to showcase their practice. Working in the arts has allowed me to be able to travel to countries and cities that I probably never would have travelled to if it was for you know a job opportunity or a residency opportunity, um, and meet people that I probably would never have met before. People who have enriched my life in so many other ways, and yeah, I think it's just amazing. And I think just art in general, it's it's a universal. I mean, they say music is a universal language, and I think art. I mean, music is art, but if you think about visual arts as well, it's a universal language as well. <laughs> 